Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, last time we did a hunt and turned in some things and stuff and the YouTube thing, right? Yeah. Anyway, now we're going to go down to Lowtown to continue the story a little bit. That will give us a second party member, which would be nice. We could also do a bit more farming on Dustia if we wanted to. Not sure that I really do want to. If you do too much farming, you're going to make the game absurdly easy. I know the, the some of what I'm doing is breaking the game, but I'm not I'm not trying to break it quite that bad. At least not yet. Where is this dude? Oh, here we go. Old Dallin. There we go. I am so terrible with names. Story time. Shh. Ah, if it isn't Von Ratsbane. Come for a tip on how to skewer something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> Not one to mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah. Now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So where's this uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. Okay, so he wants to trade us one stone for another. We gotta go get the uh, sunstone he wants. Which is down in the plains where I already was. And he gives you a little little reminder of how to get there. And old Dallin's place just happens to be right next to the exit to the south part of town. Which could be used as, as a sort of a faster way to get through town too, actually, is by going to the underside. Alright, so here's your teleport crystal, and out to the plains. Also, now that you have money, you could buy um, armor, weapons, and whatnot. I wouldn't worry about it, there's really no point. Uh, you're gonna find much better things later. So if you were still worried about the, um, the leveling thing before you get party members, um, you're not going to get the other party member until you go to the flashy X there where, where uh, Pinello is. So you could still do it right now if you want. What am I, man, the map being grayed out is messing with me. I can't really tell what I'm looking at. I also get confused because in the Zodiac version, they moved things around from how it was in the original. So I'll be thinking I'm looking for something in a certain area, and it's not there. It's somewhere else. They put it somewhere else. Come on. Go. Hmm. Oh, I definitely don't want to mess with the werewolves. Everything wants to kill me. 
should probably use that potion actually. Also, you can get somewhat stun locked. Where things will just keep hitting you and you can't react. And there's an Alpha Hyena, which isn't cool. They are stronger. No wonder I was getting hurt so bad. There we go. So, uh, one-handed weapons like daggers, um, ninja swords, things like that can combo, which is when it, what happens when he multi-hits like that. That's what I was looking for. That one has blind. It always has blind. Uh, either blind or something else. Used to be on that one across the bridge, but... Whoever played the original can fill me out on what that was. Anyway, now that I have blind done messing around, we can go get our second character, which we maybe should have done first, but whatever. And like I said, you uh, you can still do the XP grind if you want. I'm good at, at level 14, 15, whatever I am. 14. Turn that off. Eh, I forgot who we're supposed to talk to here. She says the kids make the sunstones. We have all things sunstone to Mas Masua. Uh, you should find her near the crystal back there. You can see her standing there. So unlike other games, the NPCs in this one are actually pretty helpful. Let me go talk to her. He wouldn't know that's who this is because it just has Nomad over her name, but sure. Uh, sunstones are made here. I'm gonna hear my offer, sure. The kids get the chore of making the sunstone, but Jen is missing. Go find Jen. Uh, to talk to the kids to learn more. Pinello's already Pinello. doing that. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? I'm being good. Hmm. Is that right? So then you wouldn't mind if I say tagged along, would you? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Miguel is busy with preparations for the fade up at the palace. Why, I'm free for the whole day. Well, let's get going. Hmm. And now we have Pinello. Okay, so Pinello starts with daggers, one mystic armor, one white magic, one first aid. I'm gonna make her a monk. <laughs> Seems kind of counterproductive, but sure, that's what's happening. Uh, she'll be a white mage later, but with most of the mage, well, so the pure mages, white mage, black mage, you don't really get their stuff and the, like their good things until later. So they'd be kind of gimped right now. But as a monk, she can do some cool stuff. Oh, so we have a ton of license points. As far as what um, what things you want to learn, probably go with uh, hit points. I like to go with hit points first. And if the character has steel, then I'll go with... Uh, um, yeah, he has steel. Then I'll go with accessories eight to get the thief cuffs. Um, because she comes with first aid, she has access to this little section here in Monk which she otherwise wouldn't have. So you can have her pick up Libra, which is good. It tells you enemies' uh, stats. It shows you traps on the floor, that kind of thing. You could also just wear um, the bangle that does the same thing. Uh, right now, though, I have these light armors. Uh, that's why they're lit up like that. So I'll go ahead and learn that so she can use them. And max hit points. Oak and pole. You actually find one of those... Um, pretty soon. Let's see. How about some hit points? Hit points are always good. Battle Lore's physical attack damage, which might actually be really good at this point in the game. And I have exactly enough points to do that if I wanted to. So I think I will. Yeah, Battle Lore and hit points is, is always something that I'm looking for. In his case, though, he needs to make his way to the Gladius as fast as possible. So, just looking at the uh, LP cost, probably go across the top. Who 
There's unfortunately no way to make this faster. And if you've done a lot of grinding and you have, like, I don't know, some insane amount of um, LP to spend, that's going to take you a very long time. So she wants us to go fill up the sunstone, and we're totally not going to do that because instead, oops, instead we're going to open up the clan primer, go to the hunts, and find out where the wolf is. So it explains that the wolf is uh, over, well, we already put it out anyway. You can hit the square and it'll give you like a, an estimated, he's over there. All right. And Pinello's current equipment, she comes with a dagger and some cotton stuff, which is actually better than the other things we have. I mean, we don't really have very good gear. So, we'll just have to go with it like this. And here's the cartographer for this area. But I already have the um, the maps. He's, he gives you some info that um, there are two different seasons here. One is dry, one is raining. I forgot exactly what the cycle on that is. But uh, different monsters spawn at different times. It's like You can only hunt certain things in certain conditions. Um, she kind of tells you that you get gambits but that's not really true gambits has been added to the battle menu uh yeah the battle menu but not the um game menu i don't know what they call that jen was supposed to be south so yeah, it's not it's not in here whatever this menu is it is in here though gambits will at least at this point, if you say you want to attack that thing, you don't have to manually run up to it anymore. He just does it on his own. So that that does help quite a bit. It's, it's much easier at least, or less input required. We are going to go instead of uh, to the, the sunstone thing. We're going to go back into town. And go out the west gate. I always like to do my hunts as soon as I possibly can. I'm, I don't remember if any are limited. Like you absolutely have to accept and do them at a certain time. Or you go past a point that you can't do anymore. I think there are actually a couple that way. I'm not positive. But I always want to do them as soon as possible. Sometimes um, you're just not strong enough to do that. Like there's one later that you can while you're there, but you, you might die trying. So that giant wolf that we're looking for is supposed to be right there. Let's turn down the speed. I am definitely going to try and steal from it just because. Although I probably want to kill the uh, ads first. They, they are a problem. And since Pinello has white magic, she should be able to heal. Unless I didn't buy the cure spell. <laughs> I don't remember. Just get rid of the ads. As you can see, this thing's not really doing a whole lot to me. I, I did kind of cheese the leveling some. I've seen people do videos where they've gotten like 99 off of the... The, uh, oops. Off of the dusty of farming. And, uh, yeah, I guess you could. I ah, stole a pebble. Which is the worst thing you can steal from it, but that's okay. And it's down. Hunt completed. Well, actually, it's not complete. You gotta turn it in to complete it. So, how about we do that? Yay for speed up. Certainly makes traveling a lot faster. Where is that Moogle that teleports you through town? Hmm. I said he may not have shown yet. He's very convenient though because you come in from doing a hunt or whatever and he can send you straight to the sand sea where the uh, hunt board is. That's pretty cool. 
In this case, where the person we're supposed to turn in is also. But that's okay, we'll just run. Um, should also stop at the magic shop to make sure we purchased any spells that we can use. Yeah, I didn't I didn't buy a cure. <laughs> I definitely need to do that. But even though she's a monk, she has White Mage 1, so she can uh, cast Cure, which is way more effective than potions. It's also it's a Techniques shop, right? Uh, any Techniques, like Steel, Libra, uh, Charge, whatever else. Uh, you can unlock them from the License Board, but like anything else, like a weapon or whatever, you can't use it until you have it. So you do have to buy the Techniques. So always check the magic and technique shops in every uh, new town you go to. Or if you're coming back from storyline stuff, check when you come back to town. Right, let's talk to this guy who's down on his luck. Yeah, we did it. Then we get some money, a head guard, and a teleport stone. Head back to my shop. Maybe I'll have something for you. I, I have no idea what a shop is. Oh, happen to be near the bazaar. Okay. Yeah, we check the board again. Hey, look, there's a new one available. Flowering Cactoid. Uh, Petitioner Dantro, who's in the Easter Sand. That uh, area I went with all the little shinies on the ground, that's where he is. And uh, during the Flowering Cactoid one, we'll actually start another side quest, which it gives you an item for another side quest, in a way. Uh, That'll make more sense in a little bit. A lot of stuff in this game is interconnected, so whatever you're doing is probably affecting something else. All right, go and uh, talk to the boss here and see if we get anything cool. Two warp moats and two teleport stones. Any new marks? Nope, okay, cool. So, uh, moats in this game, uh, they're, like, if you saw any of the Final Fantasy VII stuff, they're like the, um, like the fire fangs and all that kind of stuff, the, the battle use items. Um, uh, other games, they'd be like, like spells, like the one-time use spell you can use, uh, that spell scroll, I should say, like those, um, like, I don't know what the warp one does, but like an arrow moat does, or like a wind spell in the area. Uh, now he has oil and decoy. So oil is really cool if you have the burning bow and I think it's addle and flame arrow or something like that. Uh, it does a crazy fire combo and if you add oil to somebody they take more damage um, from fire damage. So that's one of the most powerful attacks in the game. It's not really necessary right now and I don't have that much money and I want to buy more maps. So I'm just going to leave these here. If they're not going to go away. It'll be fine. Uh, the guy who said to come see him, I have no idea who that was. Or where he is. I don't remember doing that in the first game or the first time I ran this either. But anyway, let's go, um... Let's go do the, uh... What you call it? Man, I am, like... Brain fog today. Um, the other hunt, the flowering cactoid. We need to go out the Easter Sand. I'm not too worried about better weapons. I'm also not too worried about fighting all this stuff. I'm just going to run past it all. Hmm. What's the cost to rent a chocobo? 500 bucks. Wow. No, 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 no. I'll just run, thanks. Wow, that's a... Uh... Later in the game, after we've done some farming... Uh... Sure, I guess. But just to run across one zone? Nah. Okay, Dantro is sitting on a crate. There he is. 
Oh, you're here about the villa post? Yes, I am. Except flowering cactoi. So here's what we need to know. Uh, I guess I saw cactuses on my way. They keep to themselves. And one comes along with a flower on his head every now and then. <laughs> they don't attack while he's on watch. Why don't you go deal with it then, man? Fire cactoid is up front. Look there, mucking us. Yes, yes. Tell me how to hunt him down. That's what I need to know. Oh, he's on watch. That's why he can't go get him. Okay. I got you. He's been lurking out in the yard dang labyrinth. Do us all a favor and hunt it down. Okay. Then you can, uh... Take the flower. Okay. That flower is what starts the... Oops. Is what starts the, uh... Other side quest. So, what does the map tell us that oh, we did that about this thing hunt accepted yarding labyrinth in the damascus easter sand view the map it's right there in the middle of the area of the next zone which is not too bad can we oh yeah we can we couldn't get to the next zone the first time we came here this place is just like the other place nothing here is dangerous i mean yeah it's done um those things right there uh, can be a pain in the butt, and if you kill a whole bunch of them, the, their parent or whatever gets mad and spawns, and you don't want that. Alright, so that thing should be, uh, that little tunnel to the south. This way. There it is. He's got the red bar. So we'll attack. Actually, you know what? No, let's uh, let's steal from the flowering cactoid. Cactus fruit. That's kind of dumb. That's what they drop anyway. Take out the ad, and then take out the boss. I unfortunately cannot set actual gambits right now, so I have to keep an eye on my own health. And, uh, heal if need be. That thing's gonna run off and attract attention from everything else in the zone. Alright, slow down. Tell her to heal. She could have gotten rid of the blind as well, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna tell him to take out these ads. She needs to get rid of blind. Blind actually works in this game. It's uh, super aggravating. Actually, pretty much all the status effects in this game actually do what they're supposed to do. Which can be a good thing, but it can also be super annoying. I thought I told her to cure... Maybe just her hit points, I don't know. I thought I told her to get rid of the blind, though. And this thing runs off and grabs a whole bunch more attention. This one can be um, pretty difficult, actually, if you didn't do any sort of leveling or the level grinding trick or anything. Uh, just because of this dude's running off and getting attention. All those extra ads could definitely cause a problem for you. And just like the cactuses in every other Final Fantasy game, they are super, super difficult to hit. Not really much to be done about that at this point in the game. If you had a black mage, you could probably cast slow or something else like that on it. That could that could help you, but not really much to do other than just keep 
healing and trying to heal it. Yeah. Man, she lost wait for her to attack sequence and then all. She's not good at taking damage, huh? Oh, that got me. Yeah, it's probably like a thousand needles. Come on, Penelope, you can do it. Do I have any big stones? There we go. Let's get Vaughn back up. Van, Vaughn, whatever his name is. Oops. Use the uh, the D pad to change your party leader. You push up or down. I might want her to heal. I'm trying to just finish this thing off already. Come on. Okay. This thing's aggravating. So I said some of the some of the hunts are a bit too much. As soon as you're able to pick them up. This one, under normal circumstances, probably would be. There we go, finally. So hard to hit. Hey, cactus flower. And then we can uh, go back to the petitioner and turn it in. Five hundred bucks, ten potions. Uh, the rewards aren't great to start with. Uh, later they get really good. Um, it's probably actually faster to go to the plains from the, the other part of the Easter Sand there, because now we're done with the uh, the cactus mess. I mean, we could go turn talk to uh, the Moogle, but yeah, we can. We can always do it later. You don't have to turn him in one at a time. You can go do a whole bunch of the game, then go back and talk to him, and he'll just do one reward after another. Which is actually necessary in some parts of the game because you, you get stuck and can't do anything. You have to follow the hallway. This game's fairly linear for quite a while. Kind of, kind of like 13 was, but not as bad. All right, so for the Sunstone, the kid is down there in the central southern portion. Uh, get there in a minute. We can use a save crystal to heal up, save our progress. Yeah, we talked to this kid. That's Jin. That lady with the strange name wants him to go back. He hurt his legs. Running, guess I pulled something. I mean, I wouldn't be able to squat like that if I had pulled something. I don't know about you guys. So we explained to him that we need a sunstone. And he's like, "Yeah, here's a shade stone, but you gotta go fill it up." And those giant glowing crystals we've been seeing all over the place, let's just go up to one of those and fill it up. So as I recall, some of these uh, sunstones were better than others for, for uh, filling it up faster. Let's hold it up to the stone. Get some energy from it. I don't know if any of the stones were actually better than others, or if it, um, I don't want to go that way. Or if it's RNG or what the deal is. 
I've just always gone counterclockwise because that seemed to be the fastest for no no real reason. Uh, oops, this way. So there's flashing exclamation marks where it wants you to go. That's pretty handy. I mean, this game kind of walks you through everything. You don't really have to do a whole lot of figuring things out like the older games. Some of those old ones, like 7 lights up what you're supposed to be doing when people are talking to you in blue text. You, you should have been paying attention because they're not going to repeat it. But at least they do the first time around. Those old games, man, they're just like, oh yeah, we need a, a feather or something. You're like, okay, so where do I find feathers? And of course, it's not from birds. No, it'd be like from a thousand-year-old nest on top of a mountain or something. Oh, it's something cryptic. Uh, we'll just fleeing and run around the long way. Go to the other one on the, the western section. It's quite a ways. These, these uh, hyenas can't really hurt me all that much, so I'm not worried about messing with them. It's kind of funny though, it, as uh, the uh, southern part of this zone, for no apparent reason, there's werewolves that are like, I don't know what level they are, something high. They will definitely kill you quickly. And even though I have a higher level now than I, I should, for sure, I mean, my, my levels, uh, yeah, I didn't have to come here last time, 2%. Anyway, even though my level's a lot higher than it really should be if I were just playing through, it still doesn't matter because your gear means so much in this game. Like it, it helps for hit points or like the uh, the license points. That's where a lot of your stats come from. Not so much actually your level. As you get a ton of, like if you're a melee guy, you get a ton of battle lore. If you're a magic person, you get. Um, magic potency and then uh, your hit points are on the license board uh, various skills even you know being able to equip armor that has better stats is all all that's license board. So, so XP doesn't really matter too much you could use the thing that keeps it at zero f for no real reason um, it's all about the, the LP you gotta get the LP to get your licenses and stuff so she gives us two teleport stones, two potions, 50 gil. I read that upside down for no reason. And uh, little dude here gave us a sunstone. So now we got what we needed. And we can go back to town. And uh, I think at that point, Pinello leaves. We don't need her anyway. Actually, she's, a, she's one of the two best mages of the game. So she's actually really good, just not yet. And we'll go into Low Town. Give the stone to Dylan. Dallin. One of the. There we go. Story time. Shh. Hey, Vaughn. Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors, she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not 
the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsight waterway. The waterway leads to a stair, the stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile, very important. Give to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> Dude's been hitting that hookah too much. But uh, what he said there at the end, don't go running off, is the game's way of telling you you're going to get locked into some stuff. So if there's anything else you want to do, you might want to go ahead and do that. Uh, there's not really anything else to do. Squads 3 through 6 are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. Well, yeah, uh, there's nothing really left to do. Um, you could go talk to, uh, what's his name, Montblanc? The little Moogle guy, turn in your, your thing, get rewards for that, which I think I'm going to do. You could do Dustia farming if you still wanted to try and get some in, because you only have one character so far. So if you wanted to, you know, to, to cheese the way the level system works when things first join your party, now's pretty much your last chance. We're going to go see our guild master. Clan master? I don't know. That sounds wrong. We'll call it guild master. <laughs> See what kind of rewards we get for the uh, hunts we've done. Oh, nothing. All right. So I think he only gives you um, rewards for like storyline boss battles, and then when you level up a rank. If you look at, uh... come on, I didn't say it here. There you go. Right, clan rank, hedge knight. So yeah, as you level up, he'll give you new rewards, and then for storyline bosses. So. Let's go ahead and um, head on down to the storyline. It's not really anything to do. You could buy some equipment, I think, but I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. Kites is messing with us. And gives us some extra potions. And it's my drops, because you'll probably go blind. There, uh, There's equipment, kind of like the accessories in 7, that prevents certain statuses. Uh, they're pretty cool. Of course, like any Final Fantasy game, the ribbon is definitely going to be the best. Which, of course, you don't get till way, way later. Most of the statuses, while annoying, aren't, aren't really detrimental. You could, you could pretty much ignore a lot of them. Or there's ways around it, like if you're blind, 
Um, there's a skill on the board somewhere called Sight Unseeing. It allows you to, to do special things only while you're blind. Okay, I really don't know which way to go to, to get loots. I think this way continues the story. I want to go get loot. Wish I had a map of this place, but um, nope. That's why maps are handy, because like I have no idea where anything leads to. And of course, like most, well, I was gonna say Final Fantasy, but JRPG in general, you always want to go to the dead ends because there's something in there usually. Yeah. Come back here, rat. There you go, running off, getting their yeah. friends. So these chests here um, have a chance of having various things in them. If they have money, that's like the the nothing reward. One of them in here has a mage master, which I'd really like to have, but it's not necessary. I can always buy it later. And the other has an oaken pole, but I don't need that because Pinello's not my party. Oops. Oh, but and of course, if you really wanted to, you could force the chest to respawn by zoning. And enemies will not respawn um, from you only going one screen over. Or not, not entirely. They will a little bit. So if you wanted to clear the area and then make everything respawn, you, or make the chest respawn, you could. Since I don't know for a fact which chest has what, like which one's supposed to have the thing, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Like I said, I could buy it later and it's not really that important. Go away, rat. Do you guys ever play Final Fantasy IX? You can steal the Mage Masher right away from your boss when you're fighting him in the uh, airship. That thing was ridiculously overpowered at that point in the game. The one in this game, eh, it's not overpowered, but it, it does what the other one did. It puts silence on whatever you hit, which is really nice for some enemies. Like if a mage uh, mob can't cast, there's they, just like nothing they can do. Hey, cool, I got a leather shield. I will equip that if I can, and if I can't, I'll buy the license. Nope. Oh, shields one. For some reason, the Shikari, which has shields two, does not have shields one. It's not on this board at all. I, d I have no idea what is going on with that. Uh, sh shields three is there. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere in these, but uh, whatever. Yeah, can't use the leather shield because I don't have shields one. Which is so weird. But okay. An arrow moat, so that's a wind spell I can throw out for free, which is pretty cool. Um, this game and... Let's see which one. Can't remember. What the heck? That was weird. Uh, this game and, and seven, pretty much everything's vulnerable to wind. There, there, there's a couple things that actually heal from it in this one, which is a change from seven. But uh, yeah, pretty much everything's vulnerable to it. So if you have a weapon with wind, or you can cast wind. You can you can stomp pretty much everything for a while. There's a lot of undead too, though, so 
Um, holy is really good and curative magic. And if we wanted to grind more, you could, or just climb the stairs and continue on. It tells you, you know, you're not going to be able to get out of there. It's now or never. Yeah, to make him look as cool as possible. Um, what's funny is, he has a gun there in his little intro, which is the machinist job, and he is a terrible machinist. <laughs> so yeah, these fancy looking urns like this, you'll find them several times throughout the game. Those will always have a map of the area you're in. Definitely grab those. Uh, they're not always easy to spot. Sometimes they hide them. Um, so, you know. Look out for them, but they're they're very bright and easy to see, so that's cool. And look around for chests and stuff. Um, not not really a lot to do here. Uh, there might might be some some chests somewhere, like garbage in them. Uh, if you were playing the original game. Uh, not the Zodiac version. Ooh, that's too fast. One of the chests in here is one of the ones you cannot open if you want to get the Zodiac Spear. Thankfully, they took that garbage out of this version. But, uh, I'm not going to bother with that spear anyway, so I don't really care. It's, uh, it's like the namesake of the game and all that, and it is pretty powerful, but... Uh... There are better things you can do. Step out of line, you will be punished. Ah, oh, dude, chill. I'll grab this one. I mean, ethers and remedies aren't bad, that's for sure. So I say we try to go up the stairs. He says no. That big dude back there is trying to see what's happening we can talk to him you want to go up the stairs I'll help you out press square to call the guard and then he'll handle the rest okay hello now's your chance run and up we go all right so this part is like a little little puzzle thing. Um, kind of like a move in the block puzzle, but in this case the blocks want to catch you, throw you out. It, it wouldn't be a problem if you got caught, honestly. You, you just get thrown back to the beginning of the, the area here. So, the uh, one we're looking for is the one that matches our little symbol on the right side there. It's the lion. And we can't get too close to any of these guards or they will uh, throw us out. So what we can do is somehow that guy's blind. He can't see me here. You run up here, hit square to call those guys over. Get them out of the way. We run back down here. And then we can call these guys out of the way. Go up here. That's the wrong symbol, so we don't care about it. We're going to go this way. And there's the lion, so we use the crescent stone. And it lights up a little light behind the grate. Yay. And the reason we called the other group of three out of the way is because we need to call this dude, I think. Let me check real quick. Yeah, we need to call this dude out of the way because it's not that one. Or that one, it's the one he's Over blocking. Here. So you call that guy. 
We go up this way, and like I said, those dudes at the end of the line are blind or something. And we run straight through to the glowing thing. It's a really, really simple puzzle. Like I said, getting caught does nothing. If you were confused as to which direction I was going, don't look at the actual screen. Look at the mini-map. I wasn't looking at the actual screen, either. And we're trapped. So, as you can see on the map, we're in nowhere land. So there's a door that you can't do anything with. You go over here, there's a switch, but I don't know how you're supposed to see that, because there's nothing pointing it out until you get close to it. And you go back to the door, and it should open. Pretty simple. Play the leading man. Who else? Fran, the magicide. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. Okay, so, that guy's a jerk, huh? Um, there's really only one way you can go in here. Also, Goddess Magicide is an equipable item that you can pick up later. There are a few places to steal it from. It reduces your MP to zero and gives you some defense. Though I really have no idea what it's actually for. There's probably some hidden mechanic I'm not aware of. What's going on? <sighs> You're free, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better. I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. What's going on? 
Don't fry. I don't know. It's not heating me. Uh, don't have time for this. Uh, I'm slipping. Not good. What happened? A hover didn't just drop, it disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well... Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Listen, thief, Vaughn. If you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now. Understood? Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind. Okay, so for anyone who skipped the video and missed what I was saying there, the Goddess Magicite is a story item, but it's also an equipable item that you can steal later. It reduces your MP to zero. Let's see. Yeah, it reduces your MP to zero and gives you 13 magic resist, which is uh, pretty lame. I don't really understand why you would want to equip that. There's probably some sort of hidden mechanic that I'm not aware of. But uh, this section here has a save crystal and it's going to spawn a whole long chain of stuff. And we're at about an hour now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And then we will pick up after uh, after this spot here. And of course, you know, the game tells you you won't be able to leave easily, so for so on. I don't care. What else can you do? Continue on. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.